Yo, Elliot, any advice on keeping my mother away from my business? I had a situation where she came into the office and actually started an argument with my operations manager. And now I'm dealing with the fallout because the manager told her, you don't fucking work here. <laughs> I scolded the employee, but now my mom's obsessed with getting me to fire this guy who's been very useful to the company. Any word or advice to be helpful? Well, the very first thing I have to address is the fact that you have an unresourceful relationship with your mother and she's way too involved with you and in your life. There's no reason why your mother should be even coming to your office. Uh, and so I need you to reflect on the fact that whatever kind of relationship you have with her needs a overhaul. It needs a makeover. It needs a change up. And a part of what that's going to look like is you got to face your mother for who she really is and you need to forgive her. And you need to just, I take this as a, 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 a page out of Jesse Lee Peterson's book where he says, you got to go to your mother face to face. And you got to forgive her. You need to go to your mother and talk to her about this situation. And you need to talk to her about all of the situations that have led up to this and knowing your own heart that a separation, a strong separation is needed from her. It doesn't mean that you no longer speak to your mother, but you need to create a, a distance from her. And by, by, uh, by speaking to her like a big boy and telling her that she was wrong and forgiving her, you get to let go of the emotional baggage that is keeping you tied to her, her apron strings, right? There needs to be space between your mother and I. Uh, she has no business being in your business. She has no business telling you what to do in your business. And she has no business arguing with other men in your, in your office. And she needs to respect that. A mother needs to respect her son, especially when he's growing up and being a big boy and starting his own business and has his own employees. Your mother is, uh, is not a good woman. It's not good that she's doing that. And I'm not attacking your mother. I'm attacking the relationship that you have with her. It's not a resourceful relationship to have with her. And it's only going to get worse. I don't know if you have a wife or you have a, a fiance, a girlfriend, or a woman in your life. But if she's stepping in and stepping on toes in your business, what's to stop her from doing it when you start to date women or, or bring a woman into your life that she doesn't quote unquote like, and she then uh, starts to want to force you to divorce your wife or to leave her. I've seen this happen. I've seen this happen, not just in some of the relationships of the men that I work with, but I've seen it. I've seen it happen in, you know, family, family, Families that I know, right? My, my children grew up with other children and I see it happening in their family. I watched this one family be destroyed because the husband's mother didn't like his wife and his wife was a good, a nice woman. She was a nice woman. Uh, you know, I try to hear it from all sides of the story, but the, but the, the real problem was he, he was too attached to his mommy's opinion and he's a grown fucking man. His mom needs to get out and you're is the same way as that your mom needs to get out of your business. And that's not going to happen easily. It's not going to happen in a comfortable way. It has, it, this is, let me put it this way. This is where you as a man will fall or stand. This, this is it right here. Your whole life depends on this. And I'm not being facetious when I say this. You're, this will make or break you as a man in your life. How do I know that's true? Because of the way our ancestors treated initiation processes for young men in order to help them become resourceful people in their society. There's always, always, always cross-culturally, according to anthropologist Mercer Eliade, every resourceful culture had a separation ritual from the mother. There has to be a separation from your mother. This culture that we live in is so perverted that it make it keeps us mama boys well into our older ages. And it's and it's not good for the women, it's not good for the men, it's not good for families, it's not good for anyone. There needs to be a clean break from the mother. I don't know where your father is, but your father needs to put her in check. Your father needs to put your mother in place, in her place. And if he's not doing it, you're going to need to do it. Maybe talk to your father about it. Like, dad, what's up with your wife, right? I would blame my dad. My mom was acting a particular way just because I know my dad and, my, and, the, and the stance that my dad takes. And I, I'd have to say, what's up with your wife? 
you need to talk to her. Her husband needs to talk to her. And if your father's not around, that's probably a part of the reason she sees you as a son husband. Right? If, your fa if you don't have a father, which I don't know, but if you don't have a father around, he probably left because she was too much to handle. He couldn't deal with her. Don't make babies with a woman that you can't deal with because then your sons are going to have to deal with her. Right? So talk to your dad and say, you know, get your woman in check, get your wife in check. Talk to your mom like you would a grown man to a grown woman. Imagine she's just some Karen that walked into your business, not your mommy. There needs to be that level of detachment from your mother. And you got to forgive her. Because some, because her mama screwed her up, and her mama, mama probably sc screwed up, and they probably both, all of them probably were around weak men their whole lives, so they think that it could push you around. She thinks she could push you around. Obviously, she can. You scolded the employee, but the employee does not need to bow down to your mother. He said you don't fucking work here. He's right. She don't fucking work here. You don't fucking belong in here. My mom never shows up at my business. My mom don't know what the hell's going on in my business. The only thing my mom knows is I make YouTube videos and she watches every video. So if I talk about her, she knows. But she, <laughs> but she not trying to interject. My mom will say, because she's a mom, she'll say things that mom say. Like my mom likes that I have hair now, right? She likes, my, she likes that I don't have a bald head and a long beard. I came into the house the other day. Yesterday I dropped my kids off there because we were doing something. And she was like... I like you so much better with this hair. I didn't like that bald head and beard, she says to me. But she also knows I don't care. <laughs> and so she just says, well, that's just my opinion. And she just said, yeah, it's just my opinion. I'm just your mama. I'm telling you what I like. And so, you know, I'm sure she has a point. I know I'm more handsome this way. And my mama wants me to be handsome. But my mama also knows that she's just sharing her opinion. And, and she's not intruding. She's not trying to change my mind or change my life. She's not trying to butt into my business. She's just watching her son. And she prefers one way that I look over another. Right? That's a mom being a mom. But not where she's trying to make me fire people that work for me. Lord, that would be an overstep of boundaries, bro. So I hope that helps, dude. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent King Transformation classes with my students, where, among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things as it relates to becoming kings in our lives and fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day, in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word King, K-I-N-G, and then me and my team will get back to the details to see if you qualify. I really hope to see you at the next meeting. Done.